Good evening. Good evening. Does a Jake Brockman live here? Ah, uh, yes. Is there a problem? Is that sexual harassment? Borderline. Oh, Bran. Look, Ben, you talk to Jane. Make sure she stays awake, OK? There is a policeman here to speak to you. Oh, bollocks. Would you care to expand on that? Yeah, well, you see, there was this incident. Uh, Tomo turned up with an old bag of fireworks and he thought it'd be a laugh if we let off this rocket. Only he kind of crashed it into the doors of a church. What the... Did anyone see this? Uh, well, yeah. The people walking out the carol service saw it. What? Look, it's OK. No one got hurt. I mean, the donkey panicked a bit. Donkey? It's OK. He didn't have Mary on his back. Although it did run off and knock over one of the three wise men. But, I mean, he was fine as well. Still looking for him, officer. Wait me a second. Keep wait, Jane. Just making some strong coffee. What's 305 times 28, Jane? I think she'd find that quite hard, even if she hadn't taken the pills. I have to explain to him it wasn't you. Tell him it was Tomo. No, Mum, I can't do that. That'll drop Tomo right in it and his parents will kick him out again. But that's not... Look, Mum, I am not ratting on Tomo. He's a mate. You've got to keep her awake, Ben. What's your biggest fear? Think of your biggest fear. Think of, like, a Count Dracula gorilla eating, like, a werewolf monkey or something. Frankenstein, but he's a frog. Think you're being chased by owls. No one likes owls. Don't get bogged down on the owls, Ben. What's the capital of Serbia? The owls. You say you didn't see how the rocket was fired at the church. Uh, no, I was, um, texting. Jake realises how serious this is. Sorry, I've got to go. The, uh, boundary issues have resurfaced. Jake realises the seriousness of this incident, but <sighs> nobody got hurt, Why so... do you say that? The rocket started a fire in the vestry. Two people have been rushed to hospital. I didn't see there was a fire. You didn't wait to find out, did you? I had no idea that that had happened. No. Well, it's because it didn't. But it could have done very easily, eh? Well, absolutely, yes. Are policemen allowed to make stuff up like that? Yes, madam. One of the few perks left. That and telling cabinet ministers they can't take their bikes through gates. You know Thomas Thompson? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't fire the rocket. That's what he said when I took his statement. Right. He said you did it. He did it. Well, who am I to believe? My son, because the other boy's a lying pillock. Lying... pillock? Stay wait, Jane. Jane, look out, there's a bear behind you. Bear! <laughs> What's the capital of Iceland? Please, that's the ambulance! St Pancras International. Come, I'm coming. So few people make such a bloody mess. Before you say anything, I'm very, very sorry you had to go in the ambulance with Jane. I was delayed with Yeah, Jane. yeah, OK. How did it go anyway? Did she have to have her stomach pumped? No, she did that herself, en route. Quite a lot. Right. You've changed again. Yes, I have. Well, that was a lovely party. And now... Amigos, I must hit the road. I think you'd best stay the night, Sandra. Susan, I can perfectly capably drive myself home. Well, no, you can't. And why not? Because you didn't come in your car. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my lovely big boy. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Have I ever told you that? No, Mum. Nighty-night. Oh, sod it. Red wine stain. I'll get some salt. 